Hi there. Welcome to this video on sketching the graphs of y equals sec x, y equals cosec x, and y equals coth x. And I'm going to show you how we can develop these graphs based on the three graphs that you see here, y equals cosh x, y equals shine x, and y equals than x. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with each of these three graphs. And the method I'm going to use is look at what happens when x equals 0, and then the behavior of the curve when x tends to infinity, and when x tends to minus infinity. Now I'll take you through this one here, y equals sec x, and then maybe you might like to have a go at y equals cosec x and y equals coth x. Then you can come back and check your answers with mine. So we'll start then with y equals sec x, which is defined as 1 over cosh x. So I said I'd look at what happens when x equals 0 first of all. And we can see that cosh x is equal to 1 when x equals 0. So what we're going to have then is 1 divided by 1 when x is 0. And 1 divided by 1 gives us 1. So the curve must pass through this point here. So then what happens is x tends to infinity. I notice that y equals cosh x gets larger. It too tends to infinity. So we end up with 1 divided by a very large positive value. So that's going to mean that this is going to tend towards 0 but remain positive. So the curve's going to come down like this and head towards the x-axis, never crossing it. Now, we look at what happens when x tends to minus infinity. Well, because the curve of y equals cosh x is symmetrical about the y-axis, I'm going to get exactly the same as what you see on the right-hand side here, a reflection, in other words, in the y-axis. So we're going to get a curve looking something like this we get the curve then y equals sec x. And the, there is an asymptote here. The asymptote is the x-axis, in other words, the equation y equals 0. So in summary, let's just show you those steps. I looked at when x was 0, and I got that sec x was 1. I looked at as x tends to infinity, cosh x tended towards infinity, so it meant that sec x tended towards 0, a positive value though, so it stayed above the x-axis. Then I repeated much the same argument as x tend to minus infinity, cosh x tended towards infinity, so sec x tended towards 0, only remaining positive. And the asymptote was y equals 0. So, Let's have a look at the graph now of y equals cosec x, which is defined as 1 over shine x. So you might like to uh, have a go at this one. So I'll give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, you can compare your graph and methods to mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So again, I'm going to look at what happens when x is 0. And when x is 0, I can see that shine x is 0. So we'll end up with 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. So what I'm going to need to do is look at the behavior of the curve when x gets closer to 0, from the positive side and from the negative side. So if I take a value of x close to 0 from the positive side, I can see that shine x is positive. So we're going to have 1 divided by a positive value close to 0. So that's going to give me a large positive value. So we're going to have the curve approaching the y-axis up here. When I take a value close to 0, but only negative, I can see that shine x is negative. So that means we've got 1 divided by a very small negative value, which is going to give us overall a very big negative value. So the curve is going to be on this side of the y-axis, tending towards minus infinity. 
Now what happens when x tends to infinity? Well I can see that y equals shine x gets larger, positive. So we're going to have 1 divided by very large positive values. So this is going to tend overall to a positive value close to 0. So the curve's going to come down here like this and tend towards 0. So we'll just sketch it in something like this. And the same thing is going to happen when we look at taking values of x that tend to minus infinity. What's going to happen is that because shine x is negative, we're going to have 1 divided by large negative values. So overall this is going to tend towards a small negative value of y here. So it's going to close in on the x-axis like so from below. So that's our curve then for y equals cos x. And those steps that I followed, I looked at what happened when x was close to 0 from the positive side. Cos x tended towards infinity. And as x tended to 0 from the negative side, cos x tended towards minus infinity. And as x got larger, cos x tended towards 0 from above or from the positive side. And as x tended towards minus infinity, cos x was approaching 0 from below. Okay? And the asymptotes, the asymptotes were the y-axis, x equals 0, and the x-axis, which was y equals 0. Now lastly, we have the graph then of y equals cot x, which is defined as 1 over than x. So for this one, you might like to now pause the video and try sketching the graph then of y equals cot x. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So again, I'm going to look at what happens when x equals 0 and I can see that than x is 0. And so we've got this problem again of 1 divided by 0 which is undefined. So I'm going to take a value of x just close to 0 but from the positive side and I can see that than x would be positive. So 1 divided by a positive value close to 0 is going to give us a large positive value. So it's going to tend to positive infinity. So it's going to be up here. And when I take a value of x close to 0 but from the negative side I can see that than x is negative. So we're going to have 1 divided by a very small negative value. That's going to give us a large negative value tending towards minus infinity. So the curve is going to come in through here. Now as x tends to positive infinity I can see that our value of than x is approaching 1. Remember with this graph there was an asymptote at 1. So we're going to end up with 1 divided by 1 which is going to tend towards 1. But our values here are just less than 1 so we're going to end up with a value just more than 1. So it's going to approach 1 from above. So the curve is going to come down like this and approach 1 from above. When I look at what happens when x tends to minus infinity, than x tends towards minus 1. It never reaches minus 1 so our values are just more than minus 1. So when I do 1 divided by a value just more than minus 1 I end up with a value just less than minus 1. So the curve is going to approach minus 1 from below. Something like that. So when I draw it in in full it looks like this. y equals coth x. And the steps I followed then in brief were that as x tended towards 0 from the positive side, cot x tended to infinity. 
and as x tended towards zero from the negative side, cot x tended towards minus infinity. And as x got larger, tended towards infinity, cot x tended towards one from above, and as x tended towards minus infinity, cot x tended towards minus one from below. And the asymptotes are the y-axis, x equals zero in other words, and the lines y equals one and y equals minus one. So I hope that's given you some idea then how we can draw the three graphs then, y equals set x, cosec x and cot x based around the graphs of y equals cosh x, y equals shine x and y equals than x.